In the ward, the patients are observing health protocols like social distancing and wearing a face mask. Most of the cases here are not severe and some of the patients are receiving treatment. It's time to feed them and health workers are handing them their meal, while some of the patients are unwilling for their faces to be made public. On sight in our cameras, some of the patients hide their faces. The concern here is stigmatization and not their health status. I am a COVID patient. I'm recovering. It is not a death sentence. And then there are people that, when they hear that someone is um, COVID uh, has COVID-19, they start discriminating. For goodness sakes, this is something people recover from. Yeah, a lot of people recover from it. So when you hear that you are positive, don't think that is the end of the world. It is not. One of the patients at this facility is the FCT Secretary of Health and Human Services, Dr. Mohamed Kawu, whose health status is not severe. I had malaria like symptoms some 11, 12 days ago. So I got tested and behold, it was positive. So I had to move into treatment centers. And unfortunately, I developed. Uh, a moderate to severe symptoms of pneumonia. Another center for COVID-19 patients is the Idu Isolation Center. It has a capacity of over 500 beds. Over 360 patients have been admitted into the facility, while over 200 have been discharged from the facility. Presently, over 100 patients are on admission. The overwhelming situation in our communities today has gone to such an extent that people are coming here on their own upon testing positive, which is a factual reality that the community transmission, the lockdown was intended to stop, was not achieved. So more people are coming, the challenges were getting overwhelmed day in, day out. Many cases have been admitted, been treated and discharged. The FCT has seven isolation and treatment centers across the territory. Six of them are public facilities, while one is privately managed.